coronavirus easily spreads through the droplets from mouth or nose of an infected person. But what exactly happens after the virus enters a human body? Let's find out. The novel coronavirus which causes COVID-19 is a respiratory virus. It means that it enters and infects your respiratory system. Unlike other respiratory viruses that infect either the upper or the lower respiratory tract, coronavirus infects both. Once the virus enters a human body, it travels to the back of the throat and nasal passages and the infection tends to begin inside the nose. Coronavirus has proteins outside its body that are spiked in nature. Fun fact, the spiked protein is what gives it the crown-like look, hence giving it the name coronavirus because corona in Latin means crown. Now through these spiked proteins, the virus binds to a human protein and then finally enters a healthy human cell. After entering the human cell, the coronavirus uses the cell's machinery to make more copies of itself. Then these copies spread in the lining of our respiratory tract, invading more cells in the human body. This is where the infection begins. Now while the virus is doing all of this in the body, the immune system is oblivious to what's happening. The virus has already made multiple copies of itself and invaded various cells before the immune system even recognizes that a foreign particle has entered the body. This is because the novel coronavirus is a new virus to the human body. So it takes time for our immune system to react to it. As our immune system has not dealt with this virus in the past, it starts to create immune responses against it, but none of those are specific to the novel coronavirus. It also alarms the rest of the body that something is wrong by releasing chemicals called cytokines. The immune system now fights to its full strength to eradicate the virus. And to an extent, it can deal with the virus. But only if the virus stays in the upper respiratory tract, which is above the windpipe. In this case, the human body will get upper respiratory symptoms like fever, sore throat, nasal congestion or a dry cough. These symptoms are a result of the immune system responding to the infection. Problem arises when the virus goes down the respiratory tract to reach the lungs and begins to attack cells lining the lungs leading to shortness of breath, chest pain or deeper cough in the infected body. At this stage, the body can develop pneumonia, where the lungs get filled with fluid and get inflamed. A closer analysis tells that alveoli in the lungs get inflamed. Alveoli are balloon-like tiny structures in the lungs through which oxygen and carbon dioxide are exchanged between the body and the outside air. And when these alveoli are clogged with fluid, it gets difficult for the person to breathe because the exchange of gases in the lungs is not taking place. Now, while the immune system is busy, busy fighting the virus, other pathogens such as bacteria can also sneak into the lungs and cause damage. This can develop secondary infections. If the damage gets to a point where the lungs can no longer effectively exchange enough oxygen and carbon dioxide, which means that when the body fails to effectively breathe on its own, the person goes into respiratory failure. And the only emergency measure to then keep him alive is by using a ventilator to help him breathe. Only when we thought this was the worst that coronavirus could do, we were proven wrong because after this is when the things get more critical. In such health emergency cases, the intention of the immune system does not match its execution, which means that it tries its best to save the body by responding in an extreme manner, but that ends up causing the most damage to the body. What then happens is that the body's response to the foreign agents goes out of proportion and unbalanced. So the immune system creates a cytokine storm where the overproduction of immune cells and cytokines end up killing the healthy cells in the process of killing the virus. All this together triggers changes that can result in multiple organ failure and the person dies. This is an extreme case. According to a report by World Health Organization, 80% of patients do not go through this and they only get a mild to moderate infection. The fatal cases are estimated to be only 1-3% to of infections. So that was the process of what coronavirus does inside a body. And the first step in the process is the entry of the virus through your nose, eyes or mouth. 
the infected people can carry trillions of viruses in their body which can easily get transferred if the other person gets exposed to them through open sneezing handshakes touching common surfaces like benches door knobs computers etc so the only way to not let it happen is to follow the preventive measures of social distancing self isolation and sanitation and the most important point do not touch your face a study says that you do that 23 times an hour so stay safe and keep watching swaraj